G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of U-Boat on board U-96. Our current orders are to drop off our friendly spy, Theo Schmidt, to the port of Alexandria. So we're going to begin by welcoming Mr. Schmidt onto our boat. We'll get the captain to go and say hello to him in just a second. So here is uh, Mr. Schmidt here, and if we click on him, Mr. Schmidt groups Murray and Murray gives him a tour of the ship basically. Don't need to know much more than that, but it's there if you want to read it. As our main objective is to deliver the spy safely to the port of Alexandria, we're pretty much just going to head straight towards Egypt to get him off the boat as soon as possible. But if we encounter any enemy ships along the way, we will of course be engaging with them. Okay, we've picked up a lone ship here on the hydrophone, so we're just going to begin to plot a course to intercept and see what we're dealing with here. Okay, so we've closed the gap here on this boat. We've spotted some chimney spokes, so we're just going to come into visible range, see what we're dealing with, and if we need to, we'll use a torpedo to sink it, or we might just use a deck gun, depending on if it's armed or not. So that looks like a T2 tanker, maybe? I don't know if they're tankers or freighters, but we'll just surface the boat and deal with that. So we're just on the surface here, just attacking this guy with the 88 deck gun here. There's no need for us to waste a torpedo. He's just on his own, he's unarmed, and we want to save our torpedoes just in case we can come into contact with a nice big um, convoy of freighters. Would be nice to sink something a bit more substantial with a torpedo rather than wasting them on just these lone little ships. So we'll just pop him down with the 88. We'll just move in and keep firing at it. So we're nice and close now and we're just going to keep on firing at this ship here to make sure she goes down without a fight. She looks like she's already got a bit of a list on and there's a fire on board as well, so a few more shots and hopefully she'll be on her way down and we can continue our way on to the port of Alexandria. A little bit choppy out here and we're a little bit far away from the ship for firing. Got to pick our shots quite well. As you can see the water's washing up over the deck here. Splashing all over the uh, guys operating the gun. But Just got to pick our shots to make sure we keep getting to that water line. Just, uh, she's not quite there yet. A couple more shots. She's still got a little bit of health on her but she is taking on a lot of water now. So a couple more shots she should be on her way down. That's the end of that uh, particular boat there. It's always good to watch a nice big tanker going down especially when you've worked quite hard for it using a deck gun. So just sit here and watch her go below the waves here. Well, we've made it quite close to the destination of Alexandria. Just going to try and stealthily move our ship into the drop-off zone and we need to stay submerged keep our ears on that hydrophone just to make sure there's no coastal defences in our way. Okay, so Mr. Schmidt has been successfully dropped off at the drop zone here. Got our new objective which is to report that to the BDU. So we're just going to turn the boat around and slowly make our way out of here get the message sent off. I'm fully expecting that there's 
probably going to be another mission sent back to us from the BDU. So we'll just get our message sent off here and await further instructions and we'll stay in the area just in case they want us to do something else around here. Kapitän, Herr Kaloy. Okay, as expected, we do have a radio message from the BDU, and it says here that the Mr. Schmidt has told the HQ that the port is heavily guarded and he needs some assistance. And they have ordered us to go into the port and cause a distraction so that he can carry out his mission. So let's just make our way towards our port. Okay, we've got eyes on the port here and just scouting out to see what we need to do. There's quite a few ships docked up here, so I'm thinking the distraction is going to be sending in a few torpedoes. Try and sink a couple of these at least and just turn around and get out of there. Hopefully that'll be enough for them. Okay, so I've just been set outside the uh, boundaries of the port here and we've come up with a few solutions on a couple of docked up ships here so we're just gonna send a few torpedoes away so so far oh, off this ship here just gonna send a torpedo off at this one and then I'm gonna pause it so I want all my torpedoes to try and hit at the same time before any alarms get raised so just send that one off there and just gotta scroll around try and can't quite remember which boats I actually worked out okay having that chimney there is not a good thing I'm just going to click on a few boats here and see which ones, so I've got a solution on this one and there should be another one, I think I did three of them so it's not that one, it must be this one here yeah, so definitely going to send a couple of torpedoes at that boat there and there'll be one torpedo at the other boat on our left which we were just looking at before don't really have time to reload and set up another solution for the other parked up boats here. As long as we can sink a couple of ships in the port here then should be pretty happy with that. Should be enough of a distraction I'm not really sure what is deemed as a distraction. I don't know if we have to lure out enemy boats or if sinking them is going to be enough. So Just have to wait and see how that goes. So which other boat is not that boat? I think it's this one to the right of him maybe? Yeah, so oh, tube yeah. number four for you. And I think we should start turning the boat as well, get out of here, just before any of these torpedoes hit. We don't really want to be getting chased down by corvettes or destroyers if there is any in the port here. There's quite a lot of ships in here though. Okay, so we'll watch to see. Oh, perfect. I was just going to say we're going to watch to see if we get any torpedo hits here while we just reverse our way out of the um, port entry. But straight away we got two hits right there, and that looks like that boat's pretty fucked. And in the distance there, got another hit. Probably didn't choose the best angle for the camera here. I think we had another boat a little bit further down on our left here, which pretty sure we aimed a torpedo at. I don't know if we actually hit it. But uh, got a mission complete there, so we've completed that. We've given a good diversion for our spies. So now we can gonna just drop a pill out of here just in case we get pursued. Okay we're barely out of the port of Alexandria here and we've picked up a lone ship again so we're just gonna See if we can try and intercept this guy and who knows, we might use the deck gun on it again or see what it is, might you have to use a torpedo here. So we'll just plop this and try and intercept. Okay, so it looks like we've picked up a lone tanker here on its way into the port of Alexandria. 
think I'm going to give him some torpedo treatment. We'll put a mark on the front of his boat. Let him pass through a couple of hundred meters. Chuck another mark down. And we'll pull our ruler through. You guys have seen me do this a hundred times already. Maybe not a hundred, but you know. So yeah, pull that through north-south. Draw our north-south and we'll use our protractor to find the angle of travel. Now we've got eyes on our boat here, so we're going to just have a look through the periscope and we'll take his speed. It's in front of the boat through the crosshair and press start. And then once the back of the boat gets to the crosshair, we'll press stop and set. Good. Now we know he's traveling at seven knots there. We're just going to go ahead and recognize him. Looks to me like a Dale class, maybe. Okay, perfect. Got him recognized. Now we just need to take the distance here. So line the top of the mast up with the bottom of the ship in the distance. And just double check what our angle of bow was. So that's uh, 138 degrees. So we'll type that in, that's our solution complete. And then we'll send a couple of torpedoes away at him. Should go with two just in case. Sometimes one might not be enough, so tube one and two. Fire. good hits on that tanker there hopefully some secondary explosions as well send her up in flames kind of doesn't look like she's gonna have a secondary explosion but hopefully it's gonna be enough just to send her down without any more difficulty Okay, it didn't look like those two torpedoes were quite enough to take down that tanker there, which is quite a rare sight. Normally two torpedoes causes more than enough damage and a lot of explosions on board. So just have to surface the boat here and finish her up with the deck gun. Hopefully she won't take too many more shots though. Fire on deck. Yeah, perfect. Got a fire on fire on deck. We were hoping for an explosion like that with the torpedoes, but is what it is. Yep, so she's going to go down now, but <laughs> a bit perplexed as to why that didn't happen with the torpedoes. Well, that should be more than enough to send her down, so we'll get our messages shot off to the BDU and we want to start traveling back up towards Tunisia and Malta. See if we can intercept ourselves some larger convoys. Managed to pick ourselves up another small group of ships here, which are heading back towards Alexandria on our way out. So we'll just plot a course and Looks like we're on their way, so we'll just sit here and wait for them to come towards us. And we'll see what we're dealing with. Okay, so we just got two lone freighters here, no escort. But uh, this one here looks like a C3 to me, so that's definitely armed. So we're going to need to plot a torpedo solution for this one. So we just put a mark down as usual, let her travel on a bit, chuck another mark down at the front of her boat, pull that line through and we'll see what angle they're travelling at and then we can start working on the rest of the solution. Not too worried about the boat in front of her, might end up finishing that off with a deck gun but 
definitely don't want to be tangling with a C3 if we're up onto the surface. Those things will take us down no problem. A couple of shots from them and we'll be dead in the water. Let's we'll grab our protractor here and we'll suss out the angle of bow. Now it looks to me like it's a little bit over 90, maybe 100. Okay, so about 108. Okay, so we've got eyes on them now, so we're just going to focus the solution on the C3 because that's the one we want to be using our torpedo with, so we need the speed, front of the bow through the crosshair and go. And just the usual. Back of the boat through the crosshair, stop and sit. Okay, looks to me like they're doing about six knots. Okay, so next up we just find the angle, uh, not the angle, sorry, the uh, distance. So top of the mast to the bottom of the ship and the uh, periscope there. And then we're going to need to recognize her. She's a C3 cargo, 100%. And just double check what our angle of bow it was 100 and something, 108. Okay, so she's ready for her torpedo. And a I think we might just well may as well just work out a solution for the boat in front of her. I think there's no point wasting any time here, we'll just get done with it. Send a torpedo at both of them and be on our way. Not much else for us to work out with this particular boat here, we just need to recognize it and um, get the distance. We already know the speed and the angle of bow there. So we're just top of the mast to the waterline. Got the crosshair on the waterline there, that makes it a little bit easier for sussing out our solution. So that's two boats ready for torpedoes. I think we'll probably shoot at the uh, C3 first because that's our main target. And then we'll drop one off onto that smaller Empire. And hopefully we'll sink them both with the tor torpedo. Don't really want to have to waste any time surfacing the boat and engaging this one with our deck guns. It'll hopefully be enough to just get one torpedo on it and send her down, but you oh, never know. So she's going to be taking tube number four. Flood that. And fire. Oh, Beautiful, two good hits on the C3 there, and we got one on the um, Libert Empire, whatever it is over there. Hopefully, it's enough to sink them both. Let's just sit here and wait. Cool. So that's both. Both boats were uh, dealt with there with torpedoes alone, so we don't need to worry about anything else. We can just turn tail, start heading back up towards Tunisia and Malta again, and hopefully try and intercept something else. Okay, we've picked ourselves up a nice large convoy on the hydrophone here, so definitely going to want to plot a course, and looks like they're heading where we just came from, which is good. We can just lay here and wait for them to come to us. Okay, so we've got visual contact on them now. Uh, straight away I'm seeing a destroyer on my side of the convoy here. There's a few freighters in the middle so far. We're not too far away from them, but um, definitely going to want to try and launch off a couple of torpedoes at the convoy here, see what we're dealing with. Maybe if we can take out a couple of ships, and I'll be pretty happy with that while we're on our way back towards uh, the it Italian peninsula. But... Uh, don't have enough torpedoes on board to deal with everything. There we go, we've got another destroyer pretty much right in front of us right now. I think if I could take out a destroyer then maybe we might be able to call that a happy day. So we'll start plotting a solution on that one. 
don't know how much else we're going to be able to interact with on the convoy if we attack the destroyer though because as soon as we attack the destroyer that's going to take all the other escorts out towards it and they'll be searching for us it's perfect he's right over a north to south line there so that makes it just a little bit quicker for us to find out the angle of bow here so just pull our line here from north to south this will give us the angle of the whole convoy so then we we'll grab our protractor just the usual come down to the meeting point run it over to the direction of their travel and that looks like 103 degrees so here she is we've got eyes on her now that's the destroyer that we want to be targeting so we're just going to um, zoom in here and get the speed of the uh, convoy I don't think we're going to get much else other than this destroyer but we definitely want the speed and back of the cross here to the ship stop and set okay next up we gotta recognize the ship uh, I don't really know my destroyers quite that well off by heart yet so I just gotta spend a bit of time comparing the silhouettes of our little recognized book here to the what I'm seeing through the periscope uh, never uh, that looks pretty similar there I think I'll go ahead and recognize that as a black swan okay so we're pretty pretty much set we just need to find our distance having that crosshair there really helps when you got a boat like this so how much is above that flag set that she's going to take two torpedoes for sure I don't know if it's going to be enough to sink her but it's going to be enough to stop her dead in the water so that's tube one and two and fire Perfect, got a good hit there with a the torpedo. Looks like it's caused heaps of damage. This looks at the moment like we're not gonna get a second torpedo hit. I don't know how we can hit one and not with another, but that's definitely enough to send her on her way to the bottom of the ocean. So after sinking that destroyer I thought it was best for us to just turn and head away from their opposite direction of the travel because they're probably going to be looking for us and um, I don't think we're going to be able to tangle with the rest of the convoy. They're too close to the port where they're going but uh, well, we have picked up another couple of ships here so we'll see what that's all about. Okay, it's a pretty foggy night out here, but we've managed to just intercept these other two ships, which are just a couple of lone empires. So just going to surface up here and we'll just attack them with our deck gun. We're running a bit low on torpedoes now because we've sunk a few ships and we've shot quite a few of them away, but I just want to save a couple just in case we encounter anything else on our way home. quite difficult to see out here with this fog so we've got to get quite close to the targets to see what we're dealing with but we have managed to start a fire on one of them probably shot off a good 10 or 15 rounds at it so far as well so hopefully it's going to be enough to get her going down but not even she's taken like 20 shots already and she's three quarters of her health has left This particular empire is not looking too too good here. She's feeling a bit sorry for herself. She should only just take a few more rounds to finish her up and send her down. And then we can start trying to proceed to find that other one that was with her. Can't see her yet because of this fog. Okay, 
that first ship looks like she's going to go down on her own she'll take on some more this one's just a little bit far away at the moment we'll pop a few shots off but we need to close this distance to get some good hits on her yeah kind of let the time compression get a bit ahead of me here and we've ended up right on the out of this bill so uh it's gonna be pretty easy to sink her hopefully close range shots hopefully we don't cause any damage to ourselves but uh just gotta stay right alongside her and just keep shooting at the base of the boat here she should go down quite easy fire on board already So I got a bit ahead of myself, changing course, trying to get away from the boat because I thought she was already on her way down, but she's just, she's just being a stubborn bitch, eh? She doesn't want to go down, so I'm just going to put a few more rounds into the side of her. She's just got that little bit of health left, so a couple more rounds, get a fire on, take on some water, just go to the bottom of the ocean, please. Okay, so after taking quite a lot of um, my ammunition there, she does finally go down to the bottom of the ocean. She's a very stubborn girl, that one, but um, it's what it is, and we can now proceed back towards Italy and see if we intercept anything else along the way. Okay, well, as we're heading back up towards Italy, we've managed to come across another Lone Ranger here in the mid. Got ourselves a, uh, what looks like an Empire something or other. It's an unarmed escort. Foggy weather, so we're going to surface up our boat and just use our 88 again on it. Trouble with this foggy weather is you can't get close enough to work out a torpedo solution. I mean, look at him, he's less than a hundred meters away and we can just about see the middle of the ship here so definitely have to surface the boat on a time like this shouldn't take too many of our shots to put her down but um that's what it is on the way looks like we're a bit, bit close to her at the moment need to change our course probably been speeding up to her as well Just about turned in time there, she was so close to an impact. But, uh, we are right up alongside her, so she shouldn't take too much more of this. Pretty sure the uh, fire from our cannon here would do quite a lot of damage at this range. Just need to pop a few more holes in her and she'll be on her way out. Yeah, it looks like she just needs a couple more shots to give her that encouragement. There must be a bit of an air pocket in the bow of the ship there. Yeah, 
hopefully this is going to be enough to send her on her way kind of looks like she's slipping below the waves yeah that's her she's done for so now we can turn our heads around and we'll start heading back towards our port we're running low on ammunition we're pretty much out of torpedoes so uh just a slow cruise back and if we do encounter anything else we've still got some deck gun ammo that we could use So just while we're cruising into the port here, I just want to take an opportunity to talk to you guys. Um, this is actually the last episode of U-96. It's not the last episode of U-Boat itself, but there's been a rather large update on U-Boat, and now the save file that I have for U-96 is not compatible with the new update. So I went to record another episode while I was doing the editing for this one, and... I can't proceed any further with U96, which is okay. We would have ended up switching it up anyway, so now we're going to be starting another episode on a different submarine, which is classed as harder. So we're going to be starting on one of the ports up at Bergen. Um, as you can see here, for some reason, it's saying that we didn't pass the mission of dropping the spy off, even though. He did get off the boat and we did have to cause a distraction. But um, hopefully you guys are enjoying this series and stay tuned because it's going to be getting a lot more interesting now with the new update and the new, um, new port, new boat. So we're pretty much starting afresh and hopefully it's going to be quite entertaining. It looks like from what I've seen so far it all looks pretty good. So like and subscribe and join me in the new series.